Our vision is aspirational, setting the stage for a multitude of ideas that can be implemented over time. Why does this matter? Because great cities are defined by great park systems. There's this natural beauty that is evident through this corridor. Six opportunities. Our first one we call Central College Landing. Adventure recreation with zip lines and rope courses moving south to Kahana the confluence of the Rocky Fork Creek and Big Walnut Creek. In the 1920s, it was one of the country's first African-American country clubs. So we think this can be enhanced as a gathering space. Lockbourne is a community that was founded in the 1830s as part of the old Ohio to Erie Canal connection. And imagine this as a space where you can tell the story of commerce from indigenous population to the canal system to Rickenbacker. The Allen Pre Corridor, it is the most socioeconomically and racially diverse corridor in the region. Westerville Allen Creek Connector, it was all about the relationship between development and ecology, in particular water quality. Kip Columbus, it was all about the relationship between an institution and the community's needs, particularly students. Hanford Village was an African-American town with a home ownership and businesses that in the 1960s, we blasted right through with a highway, decimating the community. We want you to imagine reconfiguring and untangling highway infrastructure and allowing the neighborhood to stitch back together, taking the grain silos on East Main Street and turning them into a piece of industrial archeology, span incredible community center. The Three Creeks Arts Park, creating a giant arts park that's all about recreation and ecology. I really want to emphasize a new 50-acre park and community gathering place at the confluence of the Scioto and Olentangy Rivers, truly connecting the north and south sides of the river directly to Broad Street and beyond. 2,700 acres of reimagined and modernized north and south gateway metro parks at High Bank and Scioto Grove, acting as regional magnets to visitors and tourists from outside Franklin County. More than 150 miles of healthy streets and accessible braided trails, 75 acres of mixed income job-rich, transit-served Greenway neighborhoods along the corridor. The opportunity is now upon us to renew the Sida River and the lands along it. The corridor is rich in biodiversity. Our vision for the Sida River corridor creates even more green space for wildlife to flourish. First, celebrating water. We propose water demonstration gardens along the corridor and environmental learning centers and outdoor classrooms. We recirculated water into a whitewater rapids course that then merges back into the river. South of Route 104, reimagined as a world-class music and performance arts venue, celebrating the Scioto River to create one of many destinations to remember. We're excited to present to you the Darby Creeks region. To the north are the uplands. As you look towards the south, south of Route 40, you get a lot more of that tree cover, uh, some of the more native wildlife habitat, and that was called the lower woodlands. We leverage Plain City as a location, create perhaps a brewery there that sits along the river. Looking at what we call Darby Village along Broad Street, there's an old horse track out there that exists today as the bike trail. Could we create a big lodge there that celebrated equestrian history? We recognize there's about 25 miles from the northern part of Plain City to Harrisburg. We really wanted to create accessibility for all. Hopefully a place that maybe you come for a day or stay for a weekend. You know, as planners, sometimes it's very tempting just to focus on connecting lines on a map when we're building trails or roads. But what Rapid 5 has accomplished is to invigorate those lines with stories to bring them to life. Central Ohio, it's time to raise our expectations for what's possible. 